and we're speaking to some more Innovation Awards judges here at BAI Retail Delivery, and I'll let them introduce themselves. Sure, hi, I'm Matt Kalman from Bank of America. Uh, Jan Hendrik Kraus, Emirates MBD in Dubai. So, you know, we're going to start off with, of course, everyone knows that we're facing sort of global difficult economic conditions and there are a lot of unique challenges that are facing the retail banking industry. So considering this, is this really the best time to, for banks to innovate? Well, it's crucial, right? The, uh, as customers' needs change with conditions and as sort of preferences and behaviors change as we sort of become more mobile and more digital, banks need to respond with products that, that fill those needs and, and offer the kind of value exchange customers are looking for. Do you agree with that? No, I 100% agree with what Matt has uh, has been saying. I think uh, uh, products in generally in retail banking are sort of being commoditized and bank, uh, given the, the revenue pressures, have to uh, reinvent themselves and find new avenues uh, for revenues and, and innovation is a key source of that. So, you know, the market is facing some interesting uh, uh, constraints. You know, regulation is often mentioned, accessibility, um, budget squeezes on investment in technology. But do these sort of help or do they hinder innovation? Jen? I mean, I, I personally think they actually help. I mean, look at cost constraints, for example. I mean, they're very cost-effective ways uh, to innovate um, and uh, you actually help saving costs uh, falling through on those ideas. So I personally think um, you know, being forced to think about uh, new ways will actually help to drive innovation going forward. Yes. Oh, I completely agree. The, the, um, particularly regulatory constraint, which, uh, which draws a lot of concern and, and uh, uh, sort of speculation about well, what are banks going to do next. Well, as Jan says, it, it gives you new boundaries in which to try and, and uh, invent in. So uh, by defining that new box, right, you actually give the creative problem solving process um, a place to work rather than sort of this free range, anything's possible. Um, I find it's easier to define solutions once you have those kinds of constraints in place. So both of you, Matt, Matt and Jen, are, are Innovation Award judges this year. Um, what advice would you give prospective nominees uh, for BAI Retail Delivery in 2013? Well, um, certainly we saw sort of explosive growth in, in uh, nominations. So for the judging panel who has to go through hundreds of these, obviously you want your application to stand out. And how do you do that as we go into a more and more digital age? I think you include digital media, you include video, you make a quick play to explain what this new and novel approach or product is to help the judges to quickly say, wow, that's something special. And your advice? In the end, we have to pick uh, uh, winners where we are very happy with the, with, with the selection in the end. And I think what a couple of the applicants were missing last year were being, being really precise in the description of what the innovation is, because in the end, as Matt said, we have to pick them uh, from, from a long list of, of nominations. I think the second uh, challenge is that uh, nominations haven't been very clear in terms of the impact that has been generated. And I think you know, we, we, we clearly have two criteria. One is uh, the degree of innovation. The second criteria is the impact that has been generated, either for the customer or for the organization, ideally both should be a win-win situation and again the better uh, the banks are able to describe what they've actually achieved the more likely is they are being picked. So how about this year? Was there any any uh, innovation or nominee that particularly surprised you? I mean I must admit that I wasn't totally surprised. I think you see trends um, continuing that we've seen in the previous years be it in the, in the mobile space. I think a lot of innovation around the new channels um, uh, I think what I, what I found interesting is the degree of integration of channels that some banks are achieving in, in, in the meanwhile. So I think that was uh, quite positive and very curious to see what, you know, at what level we'll be next year. Yeah, I would, I would add that uh, what in, is the speed with which uh, new becomes mainstream. So last year, uh, had we had some of this year's nominees, we would have been wowed. But this year it's like, oh yeah, uh, there's lots of banks offering those kinds of solutions because the barriers to entry, the technology barriers are so low that uh, uh, banks can adopt very, very quickly and mature quite quickly in that space. So as Jan says, you know, multi-channel uh, video, audio, text interaction with consumers was a wow channel 18 months ago. Today, 
it's becoming mainstream. And so for me, the uh, sort of the surprising thing are the new twists and tweaks. So the, I thought uh, particularly the uh, integration of, of uh, social groups into product designs. I think that's very interesting. And, and crowdsourcing has been a while around. Applying it to banking products, I think, is, uh, is still sort of an untried space. And I found it interesting, those couple of banks who were trying to uh, test and, and create permutations, um, innovating with their customers instead of for their customers, I found that quite interesting.